Hello and welcome to Boring Dead Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Pyrene. I'm really into it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the game, because, uh, yeah, I could see myself becoming a little bit obsessed with it, actually. But anyway, we're going to be taking out Sir he Surreal. Yes. Is it Surreal or Sir Hale? I can't remember. Anyway, we're taking out the barman, and he seems to be... If we just remind... If I click on him... Just remind ourselves, he seems to be geared around putting thorns on enemies and then moving them around. Which is something I've seen a lot of cars having that option. But I've generally not taken them because the other characters don't have a reliable way of um, making that happen. Now interestingly, uh, we, don't, we, we used to have the mountains here as a, as a starting biome. We don't anymore. I would probably... I might start the Dark Forest. I feel like these other ones, we kind of want a way to deal with the poison and more difficult enemies before we get headed into there. Um, I would have started with the mountains, but we didn't have that as an option. After Surreal moves, all cards in play follow the same direction. The mechanic is extremely powerful when paired with thorns, as we've seen. Um, so I presume if they can't move in a chosen direction, they just simply won't. So... Wait... I, I thought it was just enemies. Is it all cards? Oh, wow. This is going to be a bit hard to wrap my head around. But let's do that. We'll take that. Now she's dead. Um, yeah, if I try and move in a direction, it doesn't do it. I might rest, because that was a bit wasteful otherwise. Um, healing... Do that. Um, but that's cool, because that apple then gives me a way out of this corner? What happened there? Does he... Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. I'll leave that for when uh, I might rest. Um, I haven't used that yet. Okay, so suddenly this is pretty good. I might use the special now and... What happens if I try to make them move in a direction they can't? Nothing, I just waste my mana. Okay. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Yeah, I think when he takes a card that's moved, he goes to its starting position, which, um... I mean, I'll, I'll level with you guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to wrap my head around because <laughs> I'm not going to remember where all these guards are starting at. Um, yeah, so he doesn't have a way to put that thorn effect on again. Um, Why? Did that guy die? And I'm not hating it, but... I could, br I could bring the altar to me, but I think I'm... No, he's going to take all the health damage, so let's do that. Oh. Okay, that's pretty much killed him. I thought it would move one tile. I didn't think it would move the whole way. And give him the damage as well. Okay. Remember, we're, we're learning to use this character, so... Um, I think he's just got to jump in the votive altar. Um, we'll hopefully get to grips a little more. I hopefully find a way of, of putting thorns on more, more regularly as well. Um... Let's do the chest first before we have a look in his deck. Mosquito! As long as this card is in play, after each of your moves, inflicts a bleed randomly to an enemy. Triggers twice. After each of your moves... Hmm, I'll come back to that. Inf so this is a card. So inflicts one frost and deals one damage to all adjacent enemies. going for a frost build, I don't think. Gives you three provisions, gold and shield. Well, that's probably... I'll probably take that one. I, I... The thing about the bleed is, um, it means I would have to attack the enemies in order for them to take that damage. Whereas, hopefully, what he's going to be doing is passively putting on thorns and then just moving around the place. 
Whereas just getting more provisions and shield and stuff, I think, will be good. Let's make sure we've got everything here. Um, yeah, so I might add that first, and that can be kind of our last card, just if we need more provisions towards the end. Should remember that does add thorns. I might do that so we can get more thorns early on. Um, let's move on. We can always change it around if it doesn't feel right. Okay, so this is thorns to all enemies. Oh, this is going to take some wrapping my head around, I think. I'll do that. do that so he d doesn't die actually. He'll die now. I move there, nothing else moves. I don't really want to spend a mana, I'll, I'll just do this and we'll leave that coin there for now. Okay, that could be good. I don't have a lot of enemies here, though, in fairness. Might leave the provisions until after this rest. Otherwise, it feels a bit wasteful. Oh, okay. Got another one of those, then. Um, Interesting, it's not just move one space, they move as far as they can in that direction. Okay, that's interesting. Wow, this is this is a bit of a head head F, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's happening anymore. Um I guess I should take that provision and then do at least do some thorn damage to her. I'll do that. Uh yeah, why not? Wow, okay. Would have been nice to be able to do thorn damage to all of these. Um, what happens if I switch? That doesn't do any thorn movements or anything. think switch again now if I make the wind blow down blow back up again. Oh, this is messing with my head. Um, okay, do that. So that will only do one damage. Uh, I think it's probably worth doing. And jump in. Wow, this is... Uh, yeah, I can see why he's not the first character you unlock. It's, it's a lot to wrap your head around, and I probably haven't fully accomplished that yet, but let's see what he's got. You are you are immune to Thorn's damage. Uh, could be worth taking. Burn on enemies is triggered as soon as it's applied. I don't know how often we'll be doing that. When an enemy receives Thorn's, they receive Burn instead. You see, they might work well together, but I think we have to lean into this Thorn's build. It'll make ourselves immune to it. I wonder what that means in terms of his... Like the damage he takes? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's very different uh, build to the previous ones I've played. I mean, they've all been different to each other, in fairness. It's the snowy plane. We have a merchant. We've got a fair bit of cash, actually. Um, I mean, increasing deck size is always good, even though we haven't um, got the ability to do that yet. I might just have a look at what else is in this region in terms of the merchants and uh, available services. 
What have we got here? This is cards. Gives you two dodge and heals you two HP triggered twice. That feels pretty good, Dennis. But I kind of want to build into the thorns if I can. This this does. It inflicts four thorns to two random enemies and then swaps their positions. So, I mean, that, that fits in quite nicely with our build, I think. That's probably the one I'll take. Gives you... Oh, inflation. That does build up. Although, his the ability will be using the most only costs one, so I... Yeah, I, I'm going to take the Thorn Whip, I think. It leaves us a little bit more cash. It might come back if we end up with sort of surplus cash in the region, but I kind of want to... It's like there's going to be a fight over there. I'm imagining for ten, I can't... I could increase my luck on my provisions. I'm going to take the luck, because um, then we will hopefully have a greater chance of getting like thorn stuff. If, like, if I look at his affinities, it should be mostly around thorns, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, interesting. Um, maybe if I put the thorns in play, um, I might do it instead of the gold, which feels, you know, gold's nice and all, but... I think we want that to be first. Yeah, that feels okay. <clears throat> uh, well, let's go do a fight and see how it feels. Okay. Uh, well, let's give this a go. Fortunately, the skeleton, which means it came, comes back. Uh, trying to think of the sort of permutations. I think if I come in here and then move down, that's pretty good. What happens if I make the wind blow that way? Does, what happens to him? He takes a damage. If I do that, they're going to fly off up there, aren't they? Could Ah, oh, I took the damage there as well. Oh. Yeah. Seems okay. <laughs> um Okay. Oh, got the thorn whip back. That seems good. Ugh, danger of it hitting the skeleton is the only thing, so I might maybe take that skeleton down first. I really want Frost, to be honest. I want to do that. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, and then we can end up on the. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, well, I've still only got one frost, I suppose. So let's let's rest. Should get the altar in. Um. But let's try that. Maybe just work through this stuff. By the time I get to the end, that, my movements might even have just killed this guy. I guess not. I think we should go in because he's we're low on health, aren't we? So not the best altar, but we got more HP, which is good. Alright, what have we got here? When an enemy receives bleed, you receive as many shield. Not really a bleed build. Don't didn't really like the sound of the mark one, like they're not giving the reward. You can choose an additional reward from the chest. I think I might re-roll these. Let's see if we can get something thorn related. Unfortunately I've got the mark back. When you receive frost, deal as much damage to a random energy en enemy. Mm. Good in this zone. When an enemy takes damage and survives, it receives as many burn. I'll tell you what, that could be good, because enemies just from us moving around are going to be taking damage. Now I should be able to do something with the anvil here, for 8 gold. Add an extra use, so... I mean, 
mean, it's probably one of these, isn't it? Unless it's generating two copies of random cards from our deck. Or three thorns to all enemies in play. I mean, the four thorns and the swap, I think that's gonna, it's gonna kill most enemies, whereas taking this up to a three feels like that could help that quite a bit, that card. Okay, let's move on. Uh, again, there's two enemies here I would want the whip not to affect. There's no campfire, so I'm not gonna take the heart. Take that. Healed itself, but then it died anyway. Right, if I do the whip now... I see he's got 8 burn now, so if I rest he just dies. I mean, I could just kill him anyway, I suppose. Uh, that's probably a bit... that probably wasn't great. Um, but I don't know if they're frozen now, so we'll just do that. Uh, take it on, just see if there's a way I can avoid taking the full damage. I don't think there was particularly. I think we make the wind blow that way. Get rid of him, they move again and die. There's one I won't be able to get. I think we will... Oh, no. No, it's fine. Do that. Oh, wow. Okay, we're up there now. Uh, <laughs> I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around this. Um, the skeletons bummed me out of it, to be honest. Uh, let's see what that does. Okay. Eating that. Spend the night again. Okay. Do I just kill these guys and move on? It's possible, yeah, because I'm out of provision. I'll already be taking health damage here, so. Work out there's a way I can get this one as well. I mean, if I did a down, so we'd both be here, it would die. I could grab that, that would move that. Mm. Uh, we'll give it a go. There we go, cool. Okay, we'll grab the max provisions, just a level three chest, unfortunately. Ooh, whetstone, yes. I think we'll take that and we'll start beefing up some of these cards. Uh, bleed spends up to six. Uh, no, no, we'll take the whetstone because that can scale really nicely. <clears throat> I mean, I think what I'll do is get some more gold and then we'll. Um, uh, what I'll do is I'll take this to the anvil and, and level that up again. So we're doing plus two to a to a thingy. Maybe I'll swap those, because I would like to maybe be getting this really high, because it affects everybody. Always move things around. If that changes... And us again. Well, I hear one of you didn't survive Pyrene's attack. Gregory shouldn't have died. Pyrene and her bloody snake will, play, will pay. You fool. Eren Suj isn't just a pet snake. By summoning him, Pyrene has not only opened the door to the monster lurking in the underworld. She unleashed one of the most powerful and legendary creatures of all. Only a Dren warrior like me can defeat him. Take care of Eren Suj if you like. It's Pyrene who summoned him. Pyrene who destroyed our world. And Pyrene who will pay the price. 
Well, if you can get her out of my way, I wouldn't mind. Here, take this. Let's see if you know how to use it. And does his sword, two damage to enemies in play. But this looks like it's been... Oh, inf inflation. This gains plus one when we spend the night. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is it all enemies? I guess it's all enemies in play. Um, I do like the thorns. I like the whip. I mean... Does... I imagine it has to be on the board when we rest. Probably stick it there. I like this, but it kind of needs it to be a little bit... It needs a plus one on that, really, to be that good. Unfortunately, there was no battle, so I have to move to the cave. I mean, the anvil... I mean, I'll check the anvil. I just... It might be 12. It might be more 18, you see. And I can't sell stuff, so... I'll have to wait for another anvil to get that whetstone properly firing. It. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, so there's the whetstone, anyway. Um, probably want to do this first. Uh, let's move stuff down. Four thorns on that, maybe we can... Don't know if there's two to switch, but there was actually. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna rest, because that whetstone will be wasted otherwise. Like, at least it might affect this, and it did. Healing I don't really need right now, light's good. I want to leave that and see if that powers up, and then I'll try it if I've used it, and just see if it happens when it's in the deck. Yes. All right, yeah, let's rest and see what that does. It should be plus four now. And now I'll take it because it should just do that to everyone here, right? got the shields, so I'm at least... Oh, God. Okay. You know what? I think I have to get... <sighs> I didn't expect to take the extra damage, but I was hoping that I could just nip up there with one HP. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe... Maybe because the monster there went into me. I took extra damage than I was expecting. I'll go back to the village, because it is five wood. I mean, we just start from scratch anyway. Um, so, yeah, some interesting lessons learned, I think, anyway. Uh, what do we got in here? I've got one point. Yeah, I'll take a zone with luck, actually. I can see the benefit for that. Uh, where should I, what am I working on? I think it's this, isn't it? Let's uh, keep adding some wood to the pile. We have a chat with uh, this lady. Oh, Dad, so much, Dad. I feel like I'll never be able to laugh again. That the world has become bland. That everything is grey. When your mother left, the pain was unbearable. We never really forget it, but the pain fades, Geisha. I promise. In time, we'll, we'll get there. Now. 
in terms of all this stuff, the only thing I want to switch around, um, start at the top. So right, we'll keep going with Sorrel. I want to kind of get used to his whole deal. Power, so makes the wind blow. I think actually this one maybe. This was all right. But the fact that we take damage from it. Oh, this is probably a thing. Uh, character enemies who have moved to take as many damage as the distance covered. I mean, it's all, it's quite good, but reroll cards in play. I think I'm going to do this one because that, hmm, I don't know. Oh, maybe I'll keep this one. Let's try and get used to it. I mean, the, the fact it costs one is, is pretty good. I want to do the cave first, I'm thinking now. Maybe get those sort of slightly tougher enemies and uh, area modifiers out of the way early on. Assuming we survive. I'm just going to say I didn't do my card deck, but it probably doesn't matter too much here. Uh, I don't want to use that right now, so let's rest first, and then I'll use it when there's more enemies in. Um, make the wind blow up. I'll take that. Visions feels a little bit like a waste. I'll rest first. The altar, I think. See the little golden uh, thing that happens. So let's move around this way. Oh, no, the altar's there. Okay, that was unexpected. We got the we got the provisions. Let's rest. again. I've got some provisions then. Woof. Okay, so we've got some enemies here. Well, only hits for one, so we'll do that. Uh, heal. What will happen? Everything moves up. Everything moves that way. I'll move down. Quite a big heal. Oh, I'm gonna take a lot of damage if I have to rest. Uh, tell you what, let's. I'll take damage here. But I'll do that so I can hop in there. So max HP up. <clears throat> oh, what's this? Deals two damage and two poison to all enemies. So poison triggers when I move. So. That figures out. That feels okay. Let's have a look at this stuff. Um, so we want that in there, probably in place of the gold. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of enemies in play, um, which makes both of these weapons a bit redundant, but... If I take that, that won't move, but I could make it go up for one mana. Well, not 
taking any damage. Let's do that. Level 7. Oh, feather. Nice. Um, oh, do I get a choice of uh, next biome? That's interesting. I haven't seen that before, getting a choice of where to go next. I'll probably do the mountains because, I mean, the movement and that is going to be crazy. But that probably works quite well with Sorel and his whole deal. If I get something thorns related, that'd be nice. You're immune to poison damage. Well, actually, that makes me think maybe I'll head to the swamp. Doubles all frost inflicted. As long as you have frost, your attacks also inflict five poison. It'd be good in the snow zone. I think I'll take this poison immunity, because uh, for a character that moves around a lot, that poison is quite nasty. And if, with that in mind, I'll head to the swamp next. That'd be the main reason why I didn't do the swamp, was because of the poison damage. Okay, so we've got an exploration thingy here. Uh, we've got a merchant who's selling cards. We got burn. Gives you three provisions and heals you three HP. Quite nice. Heals you four, inflicts four burn. Inflicts three poison to all enemies in play. That actually sounds pretty good. Maybe we're going for more of a poison build here. Uh, which still plays into like the movement stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Let's... Um, so so what this does, two damage and two poison to all enemies in play. And if I do that... Suddenly they've got a lot of poison. Uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh, what we got? There's that plus three luck. So what's his luck now? It's five, four. Okay. Four, that's pretty good. Got an anvil, which I can afford to use. What would I put on there? I mean, possibly that? Going for more of a poison build. Okay, so this is poison to all enemies in play. Three and three. Yeah. I want to save that probably. I'm immune to poison damage, that doesn't bother me. Arr. Let's rest. Okay, so we'll grab that. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's grab that. Grab that. Yeah, things are just dying as I'm moving around now. Okay, well he's full health. Um, maybe I take another rest. I think I just have to jump in. Let's not try to get too cute about it. Getting another card's nice. Uh, yeah, everything's active now. As long as this card is in play, after each of your moves deals one damage to a random enemy. I don't need another one of those. But this one, and then what I'll do is I'll... Um, I'll bump it up again like we did for Atanaya's... I'm gonna need more gold though, so let's do another fight. Yep. 
Bugs me. Two damage, but I don't know where to get another one of these. I'm not going to let it roll in any longer because I was a bit worried where my health was headed. Two spirit cards to danger zone. Spend the night using no. The good thing about this is the reduced cost for each empty space. Like I feel like I could probably manage that reasonably well. The cards on which you can move are chosen at random. Cards on which you can move. I don't know about that. I'm going to re-roll those, I think. Spirit cards also heal HP. That could be good. Enemy takes damage and survives. Mm. Enemy receives bleed, gives as many gold. Don't inflict bleed. I'll, I guess I'll take this one. Any extra healing we can get in is good. Yeah, so we want this as the, pretty much the first thing in there. I don't have enough money for this anvil, unfortunately, unless I get quite a lot in this zone. <clears throat> uh... Random enemy is not all enemies. Okay. Okay. For a six, okay, we'll do that. Up. Got a we can actually have 18 now. I wonder if the, I might be able to use the anvil now with that. Let's see what this is first. Relic. Immune to burn. Interesting. Have really, have it, enemies haven't really reliably put burn on me yet. What's this one? Spirit cards also inflict poison to all enemies in play. Yeah, I think that's the one. Definitely going down the poison build route. Interesting. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. Uh, so I'm going to make this do more. So just, yeah, just moving around. It's going to do two damage to a random enemy. What we got next? Mountains. Okay, so do that. Oh, because the mountains is dropping back. This is going to be such a mess with your head <laughs> thing. Uh, it's a little, I don't want to waste that, so let's bring some enemies in. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, because it's trying to move in the same direction as me. It's not working. Um, I guess I'll do this. Uh, 
uh, we'll rest. Again. No, because I'll take too much HP damage, I think, because of the provisions. Uh, there we go. As long as this card is in play, cards from your deck are triggered one additional time. It's not the card that has to be in play, though, right? Poison. This is a card. Inflicts two poison to two random enemy cards in play. I guess I'll go for that. Probably take that out. The cards that have to be in play, you kind of want those in early, don't you? So... I'll do that. Imagine on the smaller battle arenas, that's going to be quite uh, tricky to work around, but we'll see. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we want to, yeah, we'll keep that keep that going. That seemed to work pretty well, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll take the healing. Just uh, I need to keep those cards in play. So zero enemies, huh? Yeah, I mean, all right, a bit wasteful, but damage here, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. It's a bit sad that we're only going to get, like, a plus two chest here, but... Although I do have enough to rest again. I have to get rid of this stuff, though. We are full health, though. Maybe... Okay, let's, um... Let's rest one more time. See how we feel about it. Take level five. There we go. It's decided. What we got. <clears throat> you are immune to thorns damage. Maybe. Spirit cards heal HP. See, I'm getting confused between my runs. Which ones have I already got? I've already got that one. Um, to thorns, maybe. We haven't really seen enemies that apply that consistently, though. Roll. After you dodge, we're not dodging. Plus one to shield gains, we're not gaining shields. When enemy change position. Okay, this one though. Giving enemies that change position burn. Then when we rest, anything we leave alive is going to die. Uh, I don't have a lot of money, but let's see what the merchants got. Doubles poison inflicts to enemies. So that's, we need that one. We're only one gold away. <clears throat> Using a special power moves the Vault of Ultra and play next to you. I'll probably need that one as well. Get me out of some scrapes. Mm. 
So I want those two. That would be 26. I need 10 more gold. That should be doable. That's the exit from the region. Okay, what's this? Small engra drawing engraved in stone. It's Pyrene. That's whatever it's called. What? It looks like Heron Suge and... And Pyrene. Pyrene summoning Heron Suge. Pyrene about to destroy our world. Who else knows this story? Okay, so we actually have Crystal Caves now, which is a new biome for us. But we're going to move into a fight. I need a bit of gold. Um... I'm going to do that, and I'm going to rest. I'm just getting so much stuff through, like, poison now. It feels quite wasteful, but, um... Rest again. Because these are working well together, I don't really want to lose one of them. So I'll take it now. I'm just gonna hope that a lot of stuff will be dead by the time. Uh, Sophie. Except him now. This is interesting. Okay. Jump in. We'll take a five. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't disappear when you leave the zone, so that's alright. Provisions up. Seems pretty good. Uh, ooh. Yeah, the whip's probably the one. So we still, still the ones that are still useful for us. Um, let's have a look at this. I think I want to increase my deck size, because, like... Maybe that instead of that. We might have to choose whether we go poison or, or otherwise at some point. Um, but let's go back to the trader. I've got enough money now for those things I wanted, so we'll grab that. I'll grab that. So just remind ourselves what those did. Uh, so poison stacks are doubled. And using my special will move the altar next to me, so that will hopefully get me out of some jams if it looks like I'm going to die. What's this? Wow. So what's the luck now? Seven. <laughs> pretty, it feels pretty good. Um, and I've got an, an altar. I don't actually have any money, but we'll go. We'll go into the square. It's fine. Let's uh, move on to the crystal caves. Exploration. <clears throat> Another exploration room. That's good. I guess we're gonna have a fight regardless. So I don't know what the modifier is here. Um, maybe it's because it's these stuff. As long as this card is in play, each of your moves deals one damage to a random enemy. So this is actually positive for us. But I mean, I'm going to have to take one of these things. So it's going to be this one. Don't want to take that. So I'll just take some damage there. So let's um, do that first. Oh wow. Okay. I kind of leave that in play for now. Let's rest again. It feels wasteful, but at some point we just have to take the stuff, don't we?
I haven't got the altar because I'm having to leave so many cards on the board. Uh, I'll take this one now, I guess. Wow, we're going to take five damage for this one. Uh, still don't have the altar. We need the altar coming in now-ish. It does. Provisions. Let's move some stuff. They're going to dodge, so I want them to... We've got loads of mana, so let's just move some of this stuff around. Do that, I'll take a six. <laughs> I'll double that. More provisions, seems good. Doubles dodge gains. I don't have a reliable way of getting those. Uh, plus one to chests. Holy cards no longer appear. No, thank you. Uh, doubles all bleed. I'm going to reroll those because those aren't great for us. After spending the night, you receive four dodges and all enemies receive two. I quite like that. When an enemy receives thorns, it takes as many damage. Well, we've got to take that. Even though I'm sort of a, a sort of a thorn stroke uh, poison build. It's a, it's a little bit it's a little bit messy, isn't it? But let's go to the altar. Oh, that costs 24. Okay. Got another merchant down here. Here we got. Uh deck size, how are we doing? I mean I I would quite like to add that. I might see who this merchant is before I commit, though. I'd also quite like to visit the altar. Uh, cards. Eight thorns and poison. I mean, that works pretty well uh, with our deck. Even though it's only a common card. I'll take that. Okay, um, so we kind of want this... There, I think. Provisions. Okay, maybe I'll take the staff out at this point, keep the provisions in. Uh, okay, let's do let's do a fight over here. We might get some more gold in. Yeah, so let's see how this works. It should do 16. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to take damage, aren't I? I guess I'll go this way. dead. I want to leave these things up, so let's, uh, let's rest. This guy. Don't like him. take four damage here as well. It's pretty risky. It's only doing one damage. That's helpful. 
Use the altars in now. I don't think I can get to that. We'll just go in. Okay, we've got an extra deck size, so that's good. So now I've got uh, that, that staff coming back in. Let's switch that back in. Or do I want the, th do I want the thorns? Oh, we'll, leave it as, we'll leave it as poison, I think. Um, let's grab this. Special power inflicts four frost to all enemies in play. Well, that feels good. Spirit cards heal. When you receive poison, you receive... No, don't like that. Uh, I'll take this. We've got the boss encounter up there. Uh, I don't think I wanted anything from you. I was going to visit the altar, though, I think. See if we get anything good. So, gives you two provisions and heals you two HP. I mean, sure. Gives you three spirit. Takes four thorns to all enemies in place, so we want we want something that we take early on getting that. So I think probably we'll do it on that. We don't need the healing that soon. Uh, might as well take the spirits though, I guess. Maybe we'll just make this more. Uh, yeah, a bit more healing on that, sure. <clears throat> okay, so basically run out of money. I don't think I can improve my stats anymore. Uh, we've got a couple of fights, though. Before we get to the boss. thing is, I think I've just got to rest. Here we go. Do it again. Sort of stuck here again with just these five tiles. Uh, it's the last rest I can do without taking damage. We need the thing to come in, and it didn't. This will give us some provisions, though. I'm gonna take one damage. I'm gonna get, I'll get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of that as well. I mean, these are... I guess I'll, I'll swap out the other card just because that... You know, it gives us shield as well as the provisions. Yeah. I might do is... Um, so I've got 22 now. I might go to visit the Shepherd and uh, get some... S oh. No, oh, okay, we've used that up. Uh, see what I can increase. So, health, maybe provisions, maybe luck. Yeah, I think I might, I might go for provisions just because it reduces our chance of actually taking a big stack of damage. Okay, so I'm gonna, 
missions. Do I go straight to the boss or do I do a fight first? Let's do a fight first. Famous last words and all. <laughs> I like this. I quite like this poison build. Enemies just killing themselves constantly. I'll do that. Um. Oh, did this. Just do it. Okay, well that feels a bit wa wasteful now. Calling some more enemies, then. Oh, the altar. Wow. Uh, sure. chest. Oh, we've got legendary. Two poison and two bleed to all enemies in play. We've got pushes back cards around you. Or a heal. Yeah, we'll take that. Lean into this poison build we've got going on. into the poison build a little more than the thorns, I guess. Alright, time for the boss fight. Oh, it's Pyrene again. There you are, you wretched demon. The time has come for, to pay for your crimes. No chat this time. Okay, well, we know the mechanic. Uh, so let's do that. Not quite the one the one move kill that we had before, but you know, not too bad. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't want to take that though, so let's uh, let me do that. I guess I should take this. And you can't kill me! If I die, here and Suj, I mustn't... I can't. Gosh, she's escaping again. You can't kill me. What does that mean? How can we beat her? I think I know what might be going on, but I'm not going to say anything just yet. Um, but we head back. 81, not bad. That was that was quite fun. I, can't, I think I kind of like the builds that... You move around and the enemies kind of damage themselves. We've seen it with the thorns and uh, the poison and stuff. I, I kind of like that. I've enjoyed that so far. So we've got a new card. Talk. Gives echo to cards in play from your deck for the current zone only. That's pretty nice. Chains. Deals three damage to enemies in play with thorn. 
Okay. Otherwise, inflicts them with thorns. That's kind of that's kind of cool. That would have been cool on that build. Monster wing. It's a relic. After you attack an enemy, it pushes back cards around you. Again, pretty good for Surreal, I think. Let's head down to the village. Oh, hello. Oh, that bloody Pyrene is invincible. I've tried everything, but nothing works. Unless... I found this Stella in the forest. It looks like it's been there for ages. Do you think it could be... a prediction? Um... Ah, since when do you believe in prediction stuff? Well, only fools don't change their minds. The important thing is that someone out there knows what Pyrene has done, and might know how to defeat her. Well, if this person's still alive, but I could go while you rest, I guess it doesn't cost anything to try to find them. We have Tanagui, or Tanegui, or... I don't know how you could pronounce that. The merchant and village elder. His pessimistic attitude hides great empathy. Okay. I'll have a look at him. Let's put. Let's build something up, though. I think we're working on the uh, the, tr the temple here. It's all very unlocked. Portal to elsewhere. Occasionally, you'll come across a strange portal. Um, talisman that pushes back adjacent cards. Talisman of Abelio inflicts three thorns to enemies in play and then shuffles all cards. Interesting. Gives you two dodge and then attacks two random enemies. That'd be cool. Uh, nice. All right. Let's see, if we're working towards our unlocks. I've still got eight. What should we work on next? Um, I don't know quite what those do at level two, but I, this one has sort of a clearer idea of what it will do when it's upgraded, I think. Let's have a look at, um, t I'm going to say Tenegui. That's his, that's how I'm going to say his name. Uh, let's have a look at it. So, health, provisions, endurance starts with a luck. That's good. He's got you. Your attack always deals one damage. Okay. You, when you, you spend the night using gold instead of provisions. his cards. Uh, as long as this card is in play, after each of your moves, inflicts one bleed to a random enemy. Triggers twice. Gold, he's got that knife. I'll tell you what, he's, I feel like he's going to be a bit tricky. Um, let's have a look at his powers. Um, I think we're in here. So here's all of these equipped. Uh, stealth. Switches to stealth mode. You move by swapping your position with the card facing you. Each stealth move uses a provision. Okay. Uh, triggers the bleed status of all enemies in play and heals you one HP for each enemy that dies. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, swap your position with a mosquito card in play. All right. Okay. He's uh, he's an interesting character. I'm gonna have to wrap my head around how he works now. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let me check on the time though. Maybe I think that's probably a good place to end it for now. If I go into the tavern though, it'll tell us how many more characters we have to unlock. I think there's only two. It's like Gashaya and Lenoe. Um, one thing I will say is that I've been very impressed with how different each of the sort of player characters feels in terms of how they work in combat, the various builds that they kind of lean in towards. Let me know in the comments though, kind of your thoughts on, on that. I might come in and spend our exploration points uh, at the start of the next episode though. Um, yeah, interested to hear your thoughts on, on the game so far, but also, you know, the different builds and stuff we've seen. That, that I will say that um, the last one was quite, it was quite fun to do and try and try to plan around. I do quite like the builds where, you know, you're stacking lots of uh, conditions and then just kind of trying to move around without directly attacking enemies that that seems to be quite a viable way of doing it and like, quite enjoyable actually but let me know your thoughts and if you did enjoy this episode as i hope you did if you could hit that thumbs up button that would be amazing and um yeah if you're watching this and have enjoyed it and haven't yet subscribed to the channel uh, it'd be great if you could do that i'm going to be playing this for a little while more i think i mean still got quite a lot of unlocks to do i mean probably still a lot of biomes to discover and characters to unlock and uh, we're working towards the overall story arc as well but again in the comments let me know if you know if you're enjoying the series if it's something that, that's clicking with you i'd be interested to find out um, but otherwise i'll just say thanks for watching one more time and um bye for now <laughs>